Okay, so there we go. Um, so I, I think I need to introduce myself, but I think you don't worry. Um, just to give you this is uh, our senior management team uh, based in Dar es Salaam. Uh, this is our entire power computer team. Uh, we recently finished where we celebrated our eight years in business. Um, so today I am Shakil Ramsey. A lot of people know me and those who don't know me. That's me, Shakil. Okay. Um, I'll be along with my team here that will be going to present. Um, I'm going to Share you the slide in the next what is our agenda for the day. Uh, so our team here, um, Vijan Mitesh, if you stand up so people can see you. Yeah, is that uh, Mitesh? Uh, followed by Sami, who's also our Charlie. And then we have Radhika there. Radhika, can you raise your hand so people can see you? She's the Charlie coordinator. She's the one who received most of the calls at the office there. Uh, then we have Samir here. From our division, uh, uh, we are going to show you for a few minutes about fixed asset. And then we have uh, Rubab, who is our payroll. Um, a lot of our clients are here who knows who are using uh, payroll software. So this is our team that we are here today. Um, oh, um, very short. Uh, 15 minutes delay, but we'll try to touch our initial half an hour on on Tally Prime. Uh, then followed by the VFT Tally, Tally for Cloud, Tally for Web. Uh, so again, then these MIS reports uh, and a few more agendas uh, you can see there. So the last one is the new module that we are going to showcase the Tally Batch for education. How Tally is going to help you in the new introduced e filing system. So that will be our last part of our agenda. Uh, I know it's 2 o'clock, I'll try to make sure that we are lively, we don't slip. So, if anyone has an objection, if I make you call your name. No one objects, right? I can call That's your name. I'm just joking around, don't worry. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to make things lively. This team, they told me, boss, you know, you stand up, you talk, they will show you. I have you with the board, so I'll be here, you'll be listening to me full time. Okay. Good. Uh, just quick, 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 very quick, some ground rules. I know we are here. Um, so, during the question answer, we want to keep the question at the end. Um, we'll limit, we'll try to accommodate, but if it's specific, then we have to check up later on. Uh, um, keep your mobile on silent, please, so you don't disturb others. And of course, uh, language we want to use English or Kiswahili, uh, our national language. Okay? Good. So, how many of you using Teleprime? Can you show me? How many are using Teleprime? And how many are using Tele ERP? Is that better? Wow. Okay, good. So, we have a balanced crowd there. So, what we are going to do in our training, we are going to try to balance. There are some features that I'm going to show you of Tele ERP, which can be used in Tele Prime. But mainly we are focusing on Tele Prime. Within Tele Prime, there are certain features people aren't even aware of it. And we are trying to show you. We have a short time, two hours. So I'll try to be as brief as possible. We can't have an extensive training. We are trying to stay, show you the important features. Okay? So, get ready for Tele Prime, everyone. Good. Okay. So, before I Mitesh, show us Steady Prime now. Okay. So, Steady Prime introduced. Two major reasons that I know. I've been using Kelly for almost 30 years. Okay. I've used uh, probably almost all the versions of Kelly from 4.5 to now. And one of the most difficult, when I used to, 20 years back, I was an employer like this, somewhere working in an organization. One thing I used to hate when I went to the entry, the boss comes and tells me, 
uh, Abu, show me your bank balance today. And so you just think you're finishing the entry, he wants. So there are two things. Either you don't listen to your boss, or you finish the entry. And that was the most difficult task. That you are finishing the entry, and then your boss tells me, give me bank finishing, or then you make the boss wait. Okay. And how does Tammy solve our problem? So Tammy solved this problem by introducing one of the iconic, uh, you know, cutting edge technology with Tandy Prime. He is doing things multitask. Okay. So how do you do this one in Tandy Prime? So, so let's do Mitesh. Let's do an entry there. So Mitesh is doing, sorry, Ramin, you're doing the entry, right? Okay, Ramin, I'm your boss now today. Okay, you're doing an entry there. Oh, show me bank balance. Wait, don't finish this entry. So now, see, he's going there, going to Tally Prime, bank book. He's showing me bank book. Now, does he have to finish the entry? Did the entry go away? So here, even you have five entries, you're doing five transactions. You're, you're promoted. All of them, you can come back. At any given time, if you want to do anything, you can come back. You don't need to do anything. So, number three, you always intend to forget very outstanding this level, right? Yeah, so now with Tally Prime, there is this go to feature. In go to feature, you don't need to remember where the report is. You can just go to go to and says type there account receivable. And you'll see all, all the reports related to account receivable. Just click there and you'll see the report. So again, making our life easier we don't need to remember where the command is of outstanding show me a print here can you see the print option is available there on top for you that entry is still going on and he can go and print any report he wants without need to close that entry which you will bring in. so within the go on the top menu see here you're there can you go back to your entry where you're doing the entry is still there. So within the top menu, there is the same thing you can apply. You want to export an entry. You can do an export, you can print, you can email. So that is again the feature within that is we call I call it the key feature. You have to type use your mouse now from now. Okay, that's now a good thing about Tally. You don't need to remember. You use your keyboard every time. He's been using his keyboard. So I want you to go back and start using your And now he's now using the mouse to select the drive. And you go and select the drive. See, you can now drag easily, go through the folders which you want to go through. You're not sure. You can open the folder, check whether any company is there or not. Can you see? So easy. Yeah, tell you your previous lesson. You are ready to move to Teleprime? Are you ready to use to Teleprime, right? Free, oh, oh. Okay. It's not the free version. Don't do it. <laughs> this is a sticker. Just remove it while you your keyboard. But, Create. Now you don't need to remember the command. You can just go and click the create within Tally. A lot of clients used to complain. Uh, so I'm a company. Uh, I, I, we are, both of us, we have group companies, right? We have two or three companies, right? Right? And then you have to remember login for every part. Or you have to log in every time we you have to open. Right? With Tally Prime, there is an option. If you have a same username and password, same user and password, then there's a setting you can do whereby you don't need every time you open one, 
the other companies which have same username and password, you don't need to put password and username again. Okay. So the feature, where will you find this feature in Tedx? Can we just go and show them the feature where it is? No. Log in with us. Can you see that? There is an option for enable auto login for company with the same credential. So if you say yes, it means all those companies, if you open one company and you have same credentials, it means the admin username and the password or the same username and password, you don't need to again type every time the username and password. Once you say yes, every time you open that company, will automatically open. You are a user of one and then you want to access, for example, you have to close the application, start again. Or shut the company, start again, right? In Tally, try no more. There is a feature here called change user. So here you come, just change the user. If you are admin, you can log in as admin. If you are another user coming, just log in as a user. You don't need to shut down company, start again. You don't need to. You can just go in with this functionality. Okay, now we go to reports. Um, a lot of us use stock items, right, in inventory, right, in Tadic. Now, can you open uh, I mean, a stock report? Okay, now select the detail report, stock wise, later, uh, sorry, stock item wise. Right? A lot of you use this report, right? So every time you have to come and say detail report, right? We have to do that one? Now with Tally Prime, there's a feature here. Well, you can now save this report. You don't need to remember. Now come every time. So save this report for me. So say can you say save you? So stop wise, write item wise, or write item wise, whatever, write something. Item wise report. Okay. So now, save this report for me. Okay, go, now come out. Go to, so go to, go step by step. I lost here, I was lost also. Okay, you can see now you go to, go to the report, go to, okay, select the report. So from the go to, you select the report. So, so save report. Item wise. So here is name there. When you click here, this is saved and it will come automatically. So any reports, you always see an option available in Teleprime, save view. When you say save view, means this report has a provision that you can save the view for a reference. Anytime you can, you don't need to then do the settings page. You can just choose the save view. And you can use the go to option there from top to call that report. Interesting feature? Okay. So, within Teleprime, now this report, can you go to uh, sales ledger? Sales, sorry, sorry, my apology, sales, sales account. Sales register. Okay. Go to a month. Okay. So, I'm going to show you two features. This is on which month I am on? March. Right? Now I want to see a February report. What do you do? Change the period, right? Okay. Press minus T. Right, right. Yeah, everyone learned new thing today, right? We agree. Okay. Go plus. You are going to back mark. Okay, minus, minus. You go to previous ones. Plus. You go to forward one. Okay, now within the same thing, I'll show you something more. Go to the change view. Now, I want to see who are my clients. So you can now extract a report from here. So this is called the change view. So there are two options, or three options, it depends. Now, can you see? 
Within that one, now you can get an option immediately with this report showing who are your debtors, which are the lasers affected on the sales floor. So there is an option called change view. When you use the change view, you'll get the same report, you'll get a multiple options. Okay, so on the same report, you can use also column report on the change view. Can you see? So it gives you multiple options. Column report. So that one is also available. Okay. So we have five more minutes before I wind up. Okay. I'm trying to see which are the features that needs to be discussed. There are a lot of features, but I'm trying to find out the best ones for everyone. Okay, let's call this one here. Voucher type. Can you go to voucher? So try type of voucher. Okay. Now can you see there is a change mode? Can you see? Can you view that? Change mode. Can you see there? So the change mode will allow you whether what type of voucher you want to enter. So let's, for example, you're doing sales. Let's go to a sales entry. Okay. So when you're doing a sales, now change mode. So this is an inventory mode. Then you have an accounting mode, and you can use also as a voucher mode. Initially, you used to go and change the configuration. Here it allows you the change mode. At the voucher level, you can change the mode. On the same lines, a lot of times we want to put details. For example, when doing a sales entry, we want to put lot of details, and sometimes we don't need to put lot of details. For example, dispatch details, uh, order number, blah blah. All these things are there, right? We are making sales entry. Sometimes are not essential. Sometimes are essential. So Tally Prime allows you a feature. Here there is something called more details. So this by default. The options are minimum, but when you go to the options of more details, it will allow you for that particular voucher only to have more details. You don't need to for every voucher you need to put all the details. So you can deactivate the feature, and only whenever you require, you come and type the more details. So it will only populate those details for you. Not every time you need to put all the details. So this is another feature which makes Tally Prime easier to use. One thing which I used to get a lot of complaints from Delhi, Delhi ERP users, down there comes the red line. Your TSS is expired. It was, it was right. Now can you see in Delhi Prime it's not there. Okay, <laughs> it was the TSS is expired. But where is it? Okay, so Delhi Prime, here you click here on top there, is where you'll get all the information about when is your TSS going to be expiring, your serial number. Under which email this license is being given. Okay. Uh, a lot of us we are using group companies, right? Uh, so whenever we use group companies in Tell ERP, you need to load all the group companies before you start getting your reports. In Tell Prime, a new feature they have introduced is we don't need to log in. Once you have set your group companies, you can create your report, a group company report, without logging in. Uh, with this, I think so. The important ones are almost, yeah, basis of value, sorry. Okay. So, in Tally, two more features I'm going to show you. Um, which is Tally Prime and ERP related also. You know, I was last week, I was doing a seminar in Arusha. So, uh, can you show me a sales book? Any sales book? Big one. Take one with this big, so many transactions. Yeah, take the whole month, yeah. Now, so I asked this during the seminar, I asked this question. You know, and I told them, and this is a true scenario. When I was going to visit one of the clients, so you know, the client starts talking about, but you know, I have one problem with it. I said, what, what happened? What is your problem? He says, now you can see so many transactions. Now I was looking for one transaction. I have to scroll all down there. Are you serious? Yes, yes, I have to scroll down and look for the transaction. I said, do you remember the amount? Yes, I know the amount. 
you don't know how to hook the wrench finger. What is wrench finger? Now this is a so when I asked this question in Arusha, I was surprised in Arusha most of people they didn't know this picture. So I said, okay, you know a lot of people they don't even they don't know, they don't want to tell you that I don't know this picture. So I decided that let me show this time also before even asking you guys. So so here I'm looking for a figure called uh, what is this figure? One thousand hundred shillings. And then you with hundred shillings. And you have one thousand shillings, where do you go? So in Kelly Prime, Kelly ERP, you use this a feature called range. In Kelly, and then how you can use this is a very wonderful feature within Kelly. I mean a lot of softwares I've gone through, this feature is not there. With this range figure, whatever sort of uh, um, sort of narration, you want to start with a narration, you want to start with the amount, you want to start with the two amounts, you want to start the leisure, you can use this command for any type of search. So I'll start telling later amount equal to 100. End list. Okay. We didn't get the right because the amount was 100.01. Of course, here you have to be precise. But with the same command, you can say range voucher later amount greater than 100, yeah. less than, oh, less than 102. So you can apply N, voucher having greater amount, less than 102. Can you see? So as much as commands you want to apply on this range, you can use. You want to use the laser names to search you want to use the voucher type, anything you can use. So of course this feature is available in Tele ERP also. But Tele Prime, sometimes uh, it's hidden there. People don't know where in Tele Prime was the feature. Initially, one of time came to me. This Prime, I don't want it. What, I can't use it. The option is there, just have to look for it. So that's why I decided to show this feature of Tele Prime. Uh, where it is. And now, within Tele Prime, there is last thing is there is the basis of values. So what is basis of values? If you open that option, go somewhere where it has multi currencies. For example, when you want to change into our different currencies, you can say Shorek Forex currency, yes. The chart of accounts helps us when you want to create, for example, it shows all the inactive voucher types also. Can you go? Can you go? Yes. It will show you, for example, the call center has not been activated. So your startup account will give you an overview which of the dangers, so which of the voucher types you're not using it. So you see, it shows the cost center voucher types or accounting vouchers, you're not using it. For example, if you're on a um, voucher types, so it basically if you're not activated, it will show it 
When you press enter there, cell order, yeah, purchase order, it will ask you, do you want to activate? So you can activate immediately. So it has made our life easier in Teleprime. Okay. Shortcut keys. You know, I always like this shortcut keys. So, two more entries here. Here, just come and press Alt C. The same command to create lasers. Use your Alt C. So, down there, okay, let's open. 2350. Enter. You see the amount comes automatically there. You don't need to go. Once you use the calculator, the amount comes automatically and on top you can start using it. How many of you are using it for charity? Very few. So most of them didn't know about this of charity. Okay. Anytime in gateway of charity, come on. So calculators are two. One is when you are using inject of telling. You don't need to use a calculator. So you can just come here and press Control N. Control N. You can use a calculator here also to do your calculator any time of the day. At the master level, the amount will come automatic. Here it's just to use a normal calculator in a gateway of telling. So these are important shortcuts here. Go to their book. Okay, can you open this uh, this transaction? So you have read this transaction and you want to see the next transaction. So typical, what we normally do, we come out, then we go there, right? So here is a shortcut key for you. Do page up. So page down. Page down is the next entry. So there was no previous entry, that's why. So now page down. Next entry. Can you see? You can scroll between the entries. You go page up, you go to the previous entry. Okay, now you are here on advertising. Come down here on advertising. Wait, wait, wait here. Okay, now you want to modify and say this is advertising for our computers. Example. So, what you do? How do you modify a laser? It's not very easy. So there is a shortcut key for it. It's control enter. When you see, you can come and modify the laser. So there are a lot of hidden shortcuts keys. I've tried to cover them. Just use Alt, Control, Enter. Right. Copy paste from any application, which is Word, Excel. You can use this one. Okay. So, and we have a. Okay, so okay, there's one more copy transition. Okay, something in I have a scan this here of 32 GB. Who wants it? Oh, there are now too many people. So then we have to find out how you get it. Okay, let's keep it a suspense for now. I'll tell you how you get it. I'll do a fair way, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Are we there? Ritesh? Okay, so I'm now making this one transaction of 4,000, whatever the amount is. Okay. 
Now this transaction I want to use again in another company, not on the same company. In same company you can easily duplicate the command to duplicate within the same company is what? Alt? Alt 2, yes. In the day book you say Alt 2, right. Now, do you know the same Alt 2, you can use it to change the company and copy the same transaction in another company also. So I get, went to this company, okay, Alt 2, duplicate, I go to what company, I change the company now. Can you see now I'm changing the company, I'm now using test company and I can duplicate the Alt again. So within same company you can duplicate and also within other two companies which is open, you can duplicate this voucher. Okay, can we go back to my... Okay, so we have two more shortcut keys to do but I think the time is not in our favor, so we'll probably skip it now for now. Okay. Okay, so our next thing is within Kelly, you know, uh, there's a lot of people now, VFD, VFD. So I know a lot of us are using VFD now, and uh, a lot want to know what VFD. So we thought that we'll just spend some five, ten minutes talking about the VFD, uh, what VFD is. Okay. Uh, uh, very quick, this one's. Uh, so we have been doing VFD for almost a year now. Uh, and we have integrated VFD with uh, a lot of softwares. Uh, okay. So basically VFD, just for those who don't have this knowledge, uh, in, in the, the law of Tanzania, they have now, you're supposed to use VFD machine, electronic physical devices. Okay. So there are basically three types of machines, we call them. One is the ETR, the manual machines. Then we have the e-sign, the one which takes our signature. And then the third one is the uh, fiscal printer, which is like a supermarket. So last year, TRA introduced something new called VFD. It's called virtual fiscal device. So basically, you don't need to have a physical machine. Basically, the transaction is communicated to your server directly and get a QR code. Uh, as Power Computers, we have been providing this solution for a lot of our clients for almost one year now. And we are going to show you a very quick demo of how VFD can be used within Tally. Um, so, what are the other software? Yes, we are currently around 100 plus clients within with our Power Computers that we have given this VFD solutions. Uh, 60, 50, 70 of them are using already Tally platform. Okay, so these are the software that we have already customized, uh, you know, and it's been integrated with our VFD. So it's not within Tally. If you have SAP, we can even help with those, or your if you have a friend or someone else uh, wants to use in SAP, we have done in SAP, Microsoft ERP, and up this one. Uh, is anyone here associated with any company in Zanzibar? Are you in Zanzibar? Anyone in Zanzibar? One, anyone has a branch or is operating in Zanzibar? Or plans to operate in Zanzibar? Good. So in Zanzibar, there is a requirement now of EFD, or they call it VFD there directly. They didn't start with EFD. So just for your information, uh, if we have time, we'll show you. But now, our computer, we have also managed to work tally for VFD in Zanzibar. So if you have tally and you are working in Zanzibar and you want to use the VFD, you can contact us, we can help you out. We have already integrated the VFD system of Zanzibar also. So if you want any or if you want someone who wants to use VFD, because there currently people are being asked to use the phone type of machines. But if you want to use tally directly with the VFD in Zanzibar, just be in touch with us, we'll try to help you out. Okay, so very quickly, we'll show you a demo within Tally how VFD can be used. We'll not spend too much time there. Okay. Yes.
Okay, so how does the VFD? So VFD has two components from us. One is the component within the tally, and there is a software we have designed, uh, a web-based software application which stays in your computer or your server there, or your network, whereby you get all your reports. So the tally platform is to create a voucher or the invoice for it. So now, so, I mean, you're making a transaction, make a transaction, so you're making a sale now, which you're going to generate a VFD receipt automatically. So, this we are working on a test server with CRA. Okay. Don't worry, it's not my live server. Okay. So, here, continue creating a VFD, you say yes. So here the VFD, your invoice is generated with VFD. Review for us. It's ready. <clears throat> Can you see? Simple, easy to use. All the information required, timestamp, that number, these are all mandatory fields required from the CRA to have in the invoice. You have taken care. The QR verification code is here there for you. Okay. Now, yeah, of course, there is a TCP file that we need to provide. Of course, uh, it's not default available. It's an add-on. We need to have this add-on for using VFD. So, so it's available both for ERP and for Teleprime. If you are you have ERP, we can still help you out. And if you're also in Teleprime, we can help you out with this. There's an add-on that needs to be given, of course. So there is a software there. Can you open the web application? So this is the web dashboard. This is our dashboard. This is our middle software. This is the one the software talks to CRA server. Okay, Tally doesn't talk directly. Tally talks to this uh, our application. So we have designed, which shows you uh, how many invoices you have fiscalized. Um, there are reports related to it. How many invoices today? You go to reports, can you go to reports? It will show you your summary report, your details report, the invoices you have fiscalized. Now, the, the thing is, if you have branches, um, for example, we had a major challenge. We have branches almost now in five, six regions. Okay, and you know one of the major challenges is to get Z report from your people there in branches. Every day, ah, two months of report, ah, two months of report, ah, two uh, then now go, go. Yeah, this all the excuses you get, right? Okay, so if you have VFD and if you have integrated all your network easily, then you don't need to worry about getting this, that reports and everything. This this solution will help you to create multiple branches also with it. Our, now my account people, they don't come and complain to me. Boss, this branch, Arusha, is giving us headache. That report is not coming on time. Nowadays, they have all the reports. The day they make the sale, we know what sale has been made in any branch. So one of the major advantages with us, we have e, is especially those who have branches. And you want to streamline your, you know, your operation. You don't want this headache of Z reports, too much Z reports, you can now go to what the job is Okay. So this is what will help you with the uh, VFD. Okay, now uh, we want to move to the next section of our tally. So, uh, can we go? Okay, now we have two options. Either I decide to give you this gift or we do a demo. Now you decide what do we do. But, uh, of course, so you know, I like to make things lively. We are all IT users, right? We have smartphones, everyone has smartphones. Okay, you have some data in your phones, right? Those were the last session. Do you remember we played a game, Kahoot? Uh, how many were there last time when we did this Kelly seminar? Uh, do you remember the Kahoot game? Yeah. Okay, so I decided that we use a Kahoot game. Okay, you'll enjoy it, believe me. There are 20 questions and it's all related. You'll learn also something and you'll enjoy it. Okay, we'll spend 10 minutes, but the, this room will become very lively, believe me. Are we ready? Okay, good. Let me give you a quick connection.
maswali ni kuwaonyesha ni okay so now what you do is within your phone um, you open a, a website called Kahoot IT. Uh, can we show this? Yeah, this is the website Kahoot.it. You just go to Google form, type Kahoot.it, and then it will ask for your game pin and it will ask for your username. The game pin is the one which is there. This is the game pin. Oops, sorry, just a second. Sorry, don't, just a second. Okay. Just type, you need a username and the game pin. The game pin is 282453. Okay? Yeah, I think so. So we have three gifts here. So the first three winners. There is one, I told you, Bluetooth. There is uh, this headphone again, and there is a flash disk. Okay? Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Wow, that's coming. Uh, that's good. That's good spirit. Oh, yeah, it looks. Everyone's been doing it. You will enjoy it, believe me. Wow, I can see. Uh, Bingo. Oh, they someone tries to be Bingo. Right, okay. Okay. Ready? All right. I have five. Should I wait? Okay. I am waiting. Wow, seven. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, that's a good gift. Uh, that's coming a good gift today. Oh, that will be fun. Oh. Last time we had almost 50 participants. This time it looks, oh, that's good. Ready? Should I start? Okay. Someone is still looking. Okay, okay. Okay, five seconds more. Five seconds more. Done? Anyone waiting? Should I wait? Not done? Right, okay. Five more seconds. Done? Okay. On your marks? Get set? Go. Okay. So you can see the question here or also on the phone you can see the question. Can you see? And the option you use the color. Right? Uh, let's see, this is good. Looks people are enjoying. Wow, that's coming good. Wait, that's too many machines. Oh, that's good. Wow. Yeah, so this is how the game is going to continue. Okay, well, someone Ibrahim is leading there. So it's a very close game there. So you have next question there. So this is what Wow. Well, that's interesting. Nine cancers. Wow, ninety two. So there are more people have joined us, yes. You can ever join us to the pin down there. Oh no, you don't need to close the application. Yes. You must close. No, you don't need to close this. They can say it's closed. Wow, okay. 
So here there are two more than one answer. More than one answer. That's a good one. Well done, everyone. Okay. Now remember the shortcut keys, eh? Now questions are coming about shortcut keys. Yeah, so it's okay. We're enjoying it. We are learning for fun, okay? So it's learning by fun, we call it. Okay. Okay, let's see now. We are Tanzanians. Nice one. <laughs> So by now everyone should remember shortcut key for the letter. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. This is our office showroom, you know, so I just wanted to show you this question coming this. Let's see. Oh, so you know it's Lala. <laughs> okay, now you see how many can use, can answer this simple question without using your calculator today. We are used to it, get rid of someone. See, it's fast. You just type the number.
speaker is watching that I think so. Okay, sure, I don't know. ERP, you can use check printing also. Hashem has been a lazy for a very long time. Some financial accounting related questions. <laughs> So let's see how many nodes are our power computers. Very good. 
ndiko seli ndiko seli tunachanganya tumwambia kwamba ndiko seli So one of the 
issues that we are now getting a lot of inquiries in. Can we cloud? Okay. Um, so, who power computers or does Delhi Prime or does Delhi provide itself the cloud solution? So, the answer is yes and no. So, why yes and no? So, Delhi has, uh, we have, Delhi as served does not give you a cloud solution for now. It's in the roadmap. It's going to come sooner or later. But now, for now, we, our computers, we are providing Tele Cloud. And we are going to show you how Tele Cloud is going to work. Very quick demo, and we'll explain to you shortcuts in, you know, in a short while. Okay? So, this is a public IP. Uh, later on, anyone can try also. There we go. So this is our uh, tele cloud uh, screen. Here we log in. So we are using this one cloud based, local based server. That's one thing. So the speed is much faster compared because uh, the arrangement is happening within Tanzania if you are a local ISP and within all the local ISP there is an arrangement. So this server is hosted locally. It's not hosted, it's 24 7 hosted locally. And you can see uh, Mitesh is trying to access Tele on the cloud and this is the speed. So we have two solutions on Tele Cloud. So basically, uh, one is you can host yourself, become your own, you can continue keeping your tele data within yourself. The only two requirements there. One is to have make sure that you have a public IP and there is an application that we need to purchase to make your uh, tele applications to become a cloud. So we provide both the solutions. So the only thing you from your side, you need to of course have the hardware, and a public IP address with a good internet secure internet. That's very important. Going public with your own servers, you have to be careful because one of the major challenges within going uh, your own servers is you have to be careful of the security. Cyber crimes are too many. A lot of people are the servers are being hacked also. Okay, so you have to be careful. But there is possibility. Even if you want to host it yourself, it's possible. Or you want to host through us in Tele Cloud, it's possible. So both options are available. Okay, so just to give you how Tele Cloud is working, uh, all the securities have been taken care of on, on this Tele Cloud. Okay, uh, this was very quick. Now the next thing within Tele Prime um, is web. So within Tele Prime, there is one of the major improvements is on the reports uh, with. Well, uh, a lot of uh, owners, I know there are very few owners here, most of us are accountants or finance managers. But your boss wants to see a report. Okay, and says you wanna show me a report of cash flow or ledger. So, and he, most of people want to use our mobile phone to see the report. With Teleprime, uh, the feature or there is a huge Moment. This feature was there in Tele ERP for sure. But the Tele Prime on the new version, there's an extreme ease of using and very beautiful reports and very easy to use on the phone also. Uh, so we are going to show you from on the screen using the phone. We are going to connect one of the phones here uh, and connect and show you how within a phone you can see your report. And this is a Tele Prime feature, it's not in, it's not Royal Airbus. The only thing you need to migrate to Teleprime, the only two things are required here. You have Teleprime, number two, your TSS has to be renewed every year for you to use this feature. If your TSS is expired, you can't use this feature. Okay? So, uh, team, can we ready? So 
the phone, they are going to use the phone to show us the report, but you'll see on the screen there. We are trying to connect the phone, and you can see on the screen how this telling. So you can, you know, if you want to convince the directors, owners, that they want to see the report easily, and you know, they don't need to ask every time, they can use the phone. Okay? This is what we are projecting from our phone, so you can see. This is the phone. Website. So of course you log in through the Tele Solution website. For your user telling net uh, username and password. Okay, so here he'll type the telling net user that you need to set once the telling net user and your password. So when you create a company, the user has to be defined there in the users to show that he's going to be a telling net user. Here we are going to show the companies which are active. Now, this is there are two companies active today, okay, um, on the net. So they are going to connect to one of the companies. So this is a company, just demo company. Now you can see all the reports are there. These are from the phone he's using. You can see the phone. Okay, can you open a report, for example? See a daybook from the phone. You can open a voucher entry there also to see the details of the voucher. Okay. You can zoom. You can use period time. Any types of reports within the tally which are available, all of them you can access using your phone. You don't need to download any app there. It's just you need to have a tally net user. Your TSS has to be renewed. Okay. And there is a connection that you need to be done. Uh, it's just say connect the company to tally net. Once you connect the company, all this, your bosses can see the reports anywhere, anywhere from the world. Okay? So this is a functionality of Tele Prime. Tele ERP used to have this functionality, but the reports were not that easy. The way these reports are easy, friendly screen, uh, any type of screen, you can change the direction of the screen, uh, change, uh, change the direction of the phone. See? So one of the reasons that you can move to Tele Prime, and you can convince the bosses 
to move to Delhi Prime. Tell him you can see the reports. They get home anywhere, anytime. You can search. Can you see? Okay, so this is one thing about Delhi Prime which has really improved on Delhi Prime, the reports. The same reports you can also access using website also. You are not limited. I gave an example of reports. But even someone is on a laptop and he wants to access all this report through the laptop, it's possible also. Okay. So this is the functionality of Kelly using Teleweb. Okay. Can you shift to my screen? So the next is MIS reports and customized reports in Tele Prime. Okay. One of the new features which was there in Tele ERP but has come in Tele Prime. Uh, if you go to Tele Prime, please. If you go to display more reports, there is a new report there. I don't know if those are using Kelly Prime. If you have realized, there is a report called Analysis and Verification. Have you seen this one? Has anyone gone through this? Those are using Kelly Prime. No. You don't know what is it, right? Okay. So, Analysis and it's actually a called an audit tool. It's an internal audit tool that can be used. And it has a good management report also. Good management reports that can be used within analysis and verification tool. This used to be there in Kelly ERP from release 3, if I'm not mistaken, or release 4 in ERP. But you have to activate the functionality. In Kelly Prime, it's a default functionality available in Kelly Prime. Okay. Now, what happens? So I'm giving you three, four scenarios. Management wants to ask you for a report. How would you do it in Tally? And then I will show you in Tally analysis and verification tool how you can use it. So an example I'll ask you that how many ledgers you have and how many ledgers you have not used throughout the year? Year. Can you tell me? In Tally. You have over, most of us have over 1,000 ledgers, right? And most of them are not in use. Do you know them? Which ones are not in use? No. So I'll now show you. Data analysis, verification of chart of accounts. How many accounts were up during the year? Not used. So you can see, there are 479 ledgers never used during the year. You can press enter. And it will give you reports of all the ledgers which are not used. Okay, come back again. Come back for the base page. No, same, same, same. Verification start of account. And so the last one shows you which ledgers are only used during the year. So these are new ledgers. So these are good. They call it auditing tools. Internal auditing you want to do. You, don't, you can actually know which ledger was used during the year only. Okay, so that's the first one, second one. Go out. Okay, now same thing you can use for stock items. A lot of us have so many stock items and you don't know which are in use, which are not in use. So again, you can see negative stock items, it will show you. Number two, not used during the year or during the period and only used during the current period. So this is how you can use this. It's a very powerful tool in Charlie. Okay, but a lot of people are not using it. So I, that's the reason we decided to show people that these are tools available. You can practice them. There's no harm, they all report. No, nothing will happen to your data. Just practice them. Okay, next one. One of the very important, just wait here. So a lot of people get challenges. 
especially when you are migrating uh, data or you are doing manually, uh, for example, opening balances of two years. So normally, a lot of us, we do manually uh, because some of the natives, we don't want to check them, some you Now, there is 2020 data and 2021 data. And you want to compare this two years opening balance sheet and closing balance sheet. Because in balance sheet, your 2020 closing should always match 2021 opening, right? Do you agree? Or vice versa? Right. Now, you can imagine if you have 1,000 ledgers and you have to compare opening balance sheet. How long will it take you? It will take you ages. Not ages, but at least three, four hours, one hour. With this functionality verification, if you have two years of data for two companies, you can compare within seconds, it will give you differences of opening balances of two years company within this functionality, verification of balances. Go open it. So you have to just specify the previous company. There is an option to specify current company and previous company, and it will give you all the reports which are not matching the closing balance and opening balance. So it, for example, you're an auditor, you're doing auditing for different companies. It's an excellent tool. It can really save your time. <coughs> okay, you can see it shows the differences of the opening balances between two years. Red color shows there is a difference. And you can go later wise and it will give you all the letters which are the problem. See all these red colors are showing the balances are not matching between the two years. Okay, next one. Come on. Okay. Analytical procedures. So you're doing auditing. Or your boss tells me, I want two years. What is the sales between the first quarter and second quarter? First March, 31st March, you want to compare two years data of your sales indirect expenses. How would you do it? So using this analytical procedures, you can select two years of your data, and then you can do comparisons of multiple levels. The analytical procedures will help you. You can do group levels, you can do indirect, direct, sales versus purchases, multiple ways that you can do this one. So this is called analytical procedure. The excellent tool for management purposes, you have to compare two years of data, your indirect expenses of two years. Your sales within two years or two years particular period. All the ones, the tool available here is called analytical procedures. Next one. Okay, we don't have time to go into details. I'm just explaining all your tools available within the Okay, uh, we don't have time to go into details. We understand all the time. Just showing you what are the features available within the Prime. So you can play around, right? You know, we are all experts here. Uh, you can even go to some of the YouTube websites are there, and you can see these features are there. Within Delhi Solutions the website, these features are there. Just play around. As long as you know the tools, they will display you the whole detail of how to go about it. Okay, one more thing which is interesting is repeated transactions. So typically in a company, we have a same transactions, rent, SPL, pay, we have to pay every month. Sometimes we intend to forget to post the entries. Okay, how do you know which are the transactions or how many transactions are there? So this option allows you to select and it will tell you how many repeated transactions of there are there. So can you come out to the detection? Periodic payment and receipts. No, on top, yeah. So indirect expenses, select indirect expenses. So here, uh, these are all indirect ledger. So I'm now selecting rent here. Can you go to rent or go to tax? Any tax you can? Yeah, rent. So set space bar. Take another one. This could be hospital or monthly one. Okay, let's take two. Update. Now there update. No, here, yeah. Okay. Go to analysis and uh, verification reports, security payments. So you can see it tells you how many transactions you have done for this during the time. 
So for example, for this one, there was only two, three transactions, and for rent, they need five transactions only. So if you want to audit and you see how many transactions for rent are there, it will tell you. If there are 12, there are supposed to be 12 there. Now, if you are doing a six months audit, you can see it will show you six quarters for rent are there. Okay, so this is uh, these are some of the management reports. Um, can you come out? So all these ones are there. I mean, we don't have time to go through all of these ones. But on your own time, you can actually go through these ones. This tool is available within Chandi Prime. You just have to explore it all. Okay. Uh, again, on, on this ones, uh, we want to show you. This is Chandi Prime feature. But outside, outside Chandi Prime, as our computers, we have done a lot of reports. Uh, can you show me this uh, customized report screen? So these are some of the reports, for example, can you open all the reports? This is a customized report. So if you are in Delhi Pride, you know, the purpose of showing you this type of screen is, for example, if your management are looking for a customized report, it can be done. You contact us, this is an example of a client that we have been doing for his work in Zambia. Uh, they wanted the cash report in this format. They wanted customer in this format. On the same line, there's one more feature within Tally, which a lot of people, they don't know. Uh, how many are using stock items in Tally? Using stock items in Tally? So, for example, there is a product, uh, tire. Okay, and this tire, you know, people use different names. For example, if I want to sell a tire, I'll use Richstone tires. And someone, the same person, the same tire, someone will use a different name. Okay, now in Tally, you have to know which name was saved, right? Tally has one more option, which people, they don't know to make use of it. It's called allies. We have seen allies. But a lot of people, they don't know the use of allies. Allies is basically, if, for example, I'm called Shakil. But people know me in different names. Shakil Power Computer, Power Computer Shakil, Mr. Dharamsi, okay, uh, son of Ibrahim. Okay, there could be five names for me. And I want to save all these five names in Tally. So anyone calls me Shakil, Mr. Ibrahim, son of Ibrahim, whatever, I can get it. How do you do it? Tell Okay. Create a ledger. Now create a ledger. So you can use as a ledger right, you can use in uh, stock items anywhere. So you create a ledger. Call Shakil. Okay? Now type Mr. Downs here. Type Mr. Powerful Features. Type power to put a Okay. That's for now. Okay. So now you have saved my name in different ways. Now I want to call this later. So any name which you have saved, you can call it. So now just save this one. Save the later. Okay. Go to make a payment or whatever. So now what name you have to call me? Mr. Power Computers and Mr. Power Computers. See, it's coming Mr. Power Computers. Also. Now you have to call me Shakil Dharamsi only. Just call me Dharamsi. It's also coming. So you can use this analysis for this purpose. For multiple purposes. So in stock item, in ledgers, you can, if you want to share as a code, or whichever part, bar, barcode number, part number, any part of what you want to say, analysis will allow you to do. So this functionality is available within Tally. Okay, just continue. Whenever you go to a stock item, when you get analysis, you can create multiple analysis. How many knew about this one? Few people. But a lot of you for you want something new. Good. Okay. So we move to, okay, 
So, how many of you have one challenge? I know I have uh, 15, 20 minutes left. Two, three important issues are there uh, that we need to show. Uh, and time is not really in our favor, but we'll try to catch up. Okay, so uh, backup. How many of you have a problem with doing backup of your work? Backup of Teddy, and you forget to do backup. Only two people, you, everyone remembers to do backup. See, let's be honest. Backup, how many people will forget to do backup of Teddy? Right, so many of us, right? We have a problem, right? Forgetting to do backup of Teddy. Okay, so we have an add on for backup. Can you show the backup? So, we have made this life easier for people. So, whenever you quit telling, okay, now he's logging, now he's quitting telling. And you see, it's asking me, you have backup? You can say yes. Is it a good feature? Yeah, every time you have to do backup? No. This is an add-on. It's not just provided by Kelly. We are selling this backup. Okay? You know, we had an argument with Mitesh and me. I said, we should charge the client. I said, no. It's not fair to charge our clients. So we then said, we come with some compromise. They wanted money, I didn't want money. So what do we do? How many of you want it for free? How many are ready to pay for it? See, no one to pay. See, I told Mitesh, no one is ready to pay for it. Okay, so I told them, okay, no problem. We have a good plan. So, how do we get, how do we give you? I need to get something from you, right? You know, this is, so what I decided, okay. See, there is a banner there, 20 years in celebration. Just go and take a picture there and send to Radhika with your serial number and post it on any social media you like. Whether you want to do it in Facebook, Instagram, uh, what's up? Get us anywhere you put it, send us uh, this report to Radhika. Radhika, raise your hands so they know. And send your serial number that you have already posted. We'll give you back up for free. Good deal? Good deal? Yeah. And it's for the ERP and for a five months. I will not charge you. Just, you have to, just you know, tell us. Be happy with us that we are 20 years old, okay? A picture for us, no problem, we'll give you for free. So the special link for all those that come here, right? Not for everyone. Don't tell everyone. Those others will charge them $50, I'll tell you. Those who did not attend, I have to give you something you attended. You spend two hours here trying to learn new things. You know, it's, it's something that you should benefit. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Thank you, good. Okay, let's continue. Quick one. Go back. So, uh, uh, very five minutes uh, we want to show. So there are two things that I want to show before we move to the last, the most important thing. Uh, I'm skipping some of the news. The last one is, of course, everyone is waiting for is the verification tool for the Italian crime. How can we solve your problem? You have solved your problem. Don't worry. Just be patient for 15 minutes and I'm going to show you how within Italian crime or Italian ERP, this verification tool problem will be solved. Okay, we have a solution ready. We'll show you. But you have to be here 15 minutes. Let me see that I show you two more products of power computers that you should know that we have this product. Okay, so one of them is payroll. I know a lot of our clients here of payroll are there. How many clients of power computer are using payroll here? Wow, a lot of them. But they are not lots of them. Okay. Do you enjoy our payroll? Any problems? No problem. Okay, good. So uh, this payroll product of power computers has been used by a lot of companies. And I'm going to spend five minutes only, five to six minutes, to show you why you should consider it. I don't say you buy it, you consider buying it. You know, I'm not a salesperson, I'm just trying to make you understand why you should consider it. Okay. So, your boss will. This is 
is a good thing. If you are, if you have a problem, uh, tell it, convince your boss. Just show him this report. Uh, it's called the CO dashboard. You know, this CO dashboard will give you uh, just a snapshot of your payroll cost. How much is your payroll costing you in a month? In a nutshell, how many staff you have? What is the age bracket? What is your total gross salary? If you have a consultant, pension, payee, a CL, the payee of your salary status. It's for nutshell. Okay. You know, that's one report. And then we claim, you know, everyone tells me, you know, you're claiming get the payroll done in two minutes. You're lying. I said, no, I'm lying to you. Yes, it's less than two minutes. Yes, I'm lying. I told my client it's lying. And I show you, if you have say, 25 payrolls and you don't have any advance to do, nothing to post, it does not even take two minutes. Rabba, prove to me that I'm not, I'm lying. That is less than two minutes, actually. So she just pressed this one, process the payroll, okay? And your payroll is ready. Show reports. All these reports are now ready, within less than two minutes. She just had to click the press start process of the month, and the reports, your payslip, are ready. And these payslips have been done in languages, in English, in Swahili, Fion, everything is there. Okay, show us the monthly reports now. So these are all the reports that you need. Okay, show us the monthly summary report first. So this is the salary report you need to produce. I don't know in Excel if you took how many, how long. This is report is ready for you. With all this possible. E-filing. Okay, one of the most challenges, February, March, when do you submit WCF? It's coming, right? Eh? Submission there from WCF? Yes. yes. How long will you take? How long? Those are not using payroll. And those are using power computer payroll. How long does it take to detect the WCF report? Less than five minutes? Yes? Okay. And this is what is this WCF and your returns. The report is ready. I was just talking and the report is ready. And you spend hours and hours. And that's the reason I said, think about it. I don't say I don't force you to buy. Okay? Think about also. That you, how much times will it save for you? All these reports which you get, or your staff leaves your organization, and you have to submit his returns. You know, his, how much NSF he has paid. How long does it take you to prepare that report? It is, you open all the files, right? Then every month's submission report. So you click a button and give your report. Yeah, okay, I was talking and the report is ready. Okay, I'll ask you one more question. Those are financial control costs. If your boss tells me, give me cost of employee, how much does the employee cost you? How do you calculate? A lot of people, they don't know about it. So they say, yeah, his salary is 450. That's our cost. Say, you know, I had an accountant. I don't know where he was from. I don't know who mentioned my name. Uh, whether he was qualified or not, I don't know. So I asked him one day, what is our cost? He said, yes, this is salary. He said, is this a cost? Then, then do you pay, pay from your pocket the pension, the other 10% you're paying, the SDL? That's the cost to the company, right? So he's costing us. He says, give me a report. He says, we don't have a report. Then I told Rubab, let's make a report. So she made a good report for me. So this is a report, which is a wonderful report. Cost of your employee. This one tells you, see, this is your pension, this is gross salary. Then what is the extra you're paying for your own behalf? As a company, you're paying. The extra 10% you are paying, you are paying SPF. If you have health insurance, you are paying the other 3%. And WCF, you are not supposed to deduct WCF for employee. Are you supposed to deduct? No. You have to suppose to pay from your own pocket. The SPL is supposed to come out from a pocket of a company. This is a cost to the company. So this is what each employee is costing us. Now, the boss tells you, how many staff were there last year and this year? It's a big nightmare. And those who are Excel users, then you have to start taking out your reports. So we have management reports, good management reports. You can compare two years of your staff. Last year you had how many staff? This year you have how many? The management reports. This is tells you your management reports. How many 
staff were there last year. You want to how many are there this year? A lot of times people make this management report. They take ages to make this management report. True or not? So, uh, what else we have? Uh, journal report. Can you show me the journal? So this journal report is ready for you. You just need to print this report and go and post it daily. How fast it is, and this report you just print out, go and make an entry in Delhi. Okay, one more report. And okay, so how many of you submit your salary to the banks? Banks? Okay, can you show us some bank salary reports? So these are all ready Excel generated. You don't need to do anything in Excel. You just, if you're using Standard Chartered, CRDB Bank, these are ready in the format that you want. This is which standard? Standard Chartered Bank. So these reports are according to the standard of your banks. So we have four banks ready, right? Rubab, Standard Charter, DDB, CRDB, and, and then the general one. So this is ready in the format provided by the bank. Uh, in the payroll system, uh, e filing, the GRA e filing, the format they wanted, you can get this e filing report, GRA e filing, in this one. See? Ready. So we have made life easier for you. Right? So Rubab is here after the session. Um, you can contact her, work out. We can give some good deals today. We are in an exciting deal mood today. Uh, for those who are already using uh, payroll, um, you know, we, we charge yearly. Now, you want one more extra? Existing uh, power pay. Their payroll users. You want one month extra? Yeah. One month extra much? Get for me a picture there. Thank you, Rob. She'll give you one month free. Rob, agree? Okay, so now see, we're going to exciting news for you guys. Okay. Last thing before I show you e verification. Come here, you ready? So, in the payroll, I didn't have time to go through. We have leave options, loan options, everything is there. I mean, this. Also, your casual employees. We have done a wonderful module on table. I mean, time. This is not my. I didn't come to do sales. You know, they pushed me to come and do boss. Present for five minutes. Bob really talked to me. He says, "Okay, present." And it's a training. It's not payroll sales day. Okay, but I said, "Okay, five minutes. I'll give you." Okay. So, casual employees, you can take care. It's there. Just talk to her. She'll organize a detailed table for you. Okay. One of the issues that we realize a lot of clients are getting is. How many of us we maintain or we have fixed register, fixed asset register? I don't have my company. Most of us we don't maintain and we have a lot of assets. Do you agree? Yeah. It's a major problem. Do you agree? Okay. So we have now, it's a new product of ours. We have just launched, we have just uh, finished implementing the first client of hours our fixed asset register uh, so we thought we'll just share two minutes with you i don't want to even take more than two minutes and i'll show you this fixed asset register that can simplify your uh, life maintain your fixed asset register what we provide is a verification tool the most important thing is uh, you can put a barcode stickers but then the important thing is just verification but this asset is still there or has lost now to do asset register is one part of it and to do a verification so we have provided a verification tool also. And this is verification tool is available also on the app. From the app, you can just move around from the app in your assets, click the button, 
You come back, it will tell you when did you verify your all the reports of when you last verify your assets, who verified it. It gives you a list of where this asset is, everything it gives you. Seven levels, isn't it? Creating a asset is very easy. You have made the life very easy for creating assets. For example, you have this type of chairs and you want to replicate. You don't need to create every asset. Just say, one this chair, I have thousand of it. It will replicate for you each of them into an asset, one thousand of it, in a click of a button. Okay, so we just completed for a client, hospital, and uh, you know, and you know, within no time, the asset within two three days, his full asset register was ready. So we provide full solution. We provide you asset software. And if you want the services of us coming to do for you assets, okay, uh, we can do for you a fixed asset register for you first time, uh, put for you barcode levels for all of these assets, hand over the assets to you, and then you can do some of the options on the screens on assets what we have. Ravi, I've given you two minutes. Sorry, sorry, Samir. Okay. So Samir, can you send up the people against you? I don't have more time for my, you know, because this is So he's a right person for asset management. You contact him, he will organize a detailed demo if you want to go for it. Okay. Thank you. Mitesh, can we now move back to our tally? We want to see the asset verification cost. Because you have asset cost. Okay, so uh, how many of you have seen the new format that TRA requires in the Excel one? Yeah, you have seen the new format. So, what is required in the submission report? QR code, and what else? Sorry, time set number. Okay, no, for local import, local purchases. For local purchases, we need verification form. We need to define whether it's a taxable, non-taxable, it's a combination of both, right? And the third thing is we need to show somebody what item did you buy. This is what you require, right? And for if you are doing a default is done set, you need done set number and what type of taxable taxability, right? This is required? Good. So this is the form, right? Reflection. So the challenge is how do you fill this form? From Tally Price. Even in your right? Good. So we have done an add-on in Tally Prime. Can we now go to Tally? Show us how have you saved the life of people. Okay, so for this module to work, there is, a, there is a module, if those who have used it, there is a Tanzania VAT module, uh, which is required along with the new module which we are going to show you. Okay, which works together. Okay. So now let's make a purchase entry. So this is applicable only in purchases. The whole module is only for purchases. So when it asks you to supply invoice number, you put your invoice number. And you see here there's a provision for to put verification cost. Now you put your verification cost. You put the party in. The items that you're going to buy from him. So here the import taxable. We are saying import taxable, right? So we purchase taxable. This is purchase taxable, okay? Later. So here we are putting VAT here. And this is a description of goods. Okay, just put any description there. So, okay, now go to the label. So here we have given you one option to show you all those item purchases. You can, in the book you can see or you go to purchase register, you know, also see. You go to purchase register. Okay. 
He can show you all these items which has been kept in court. Right? Now, the most important thing. How do you export it? Inspector. We have a solution? Yes, we have a solution. Okay. So show us how will you export. Now, one of now before we export, how do we know whether you have not duplicated or not? So we have taken care of it. So if you want to know whether this is a duplicate or you want to search for verification code, so you have a verification code. Can you see there? There are two codes, verification code, answer code down there. You click on verification code. You can type any number. It will tell you whether did you enter that number or not previously. Okay. You press enter, it will show you, it will give you what is the transition. Okay, same thing for transit number. If you want to see whether you have used the transit number or not, you use the send method. Finally, how do you now send it to the format where required by the reports? Invoice, purchase invoice, local. So we have given you two options. One is for importation, different formats, for local, and then we are giving you a detailed one so you can compare out also. So we'll go through each of them. Can you now extract the first report for us? This is not entry remain, it's showing the missing. This is what is required in the CRF format, right? Okay. Now there is the detail report to it. Can you open the detail report? So this detail report is correct one. Right? If someone is ready to we are open for question and answers. Um, we have referred outside those who want to wait for question and answers. We don't want to, uh, because some may think it's okay, you want know, to have, you know, you don't have any questions. Okay. There is one more morning for the same type of clients every month. Like, for example, I'll give that. We have a solution for that person here. Uh, so this is for, it's meant for rent, okay? So for example, you say define rent charges. So you define your rent for every client. You do it once and then move on. We have 50, you just define for once. And then we have given you a provision, okay? What you can do is, all this one, it shows you, all these ones are rent. You can just come and press one entry and all this invoice will be generated automatically. Even you have Hundred of them, it will generate automatically with this module. So, if those clients that you're billing them every month, same type of billing, same amount, same service charges, the best module they can use. It will save your time. So, you can contact our sales team. How many of you using? Our expected. Okay, oh, wow. Okay, unfortunately, you know, okay, I have to show you one. You don't want people to see certain ledgers and certain groups. Can you do it in Kelly? In no. Okay. Do you want People to post the entry on time. Not yesterday entry to place. The time, the time is 9 March. I we had this one. Which uh, one do you? Okay. Can you see here? So this only mentions only the entry and you modify. You want to see what was only mentioned. It's going to be part of Kelly Prime. Or something you can enable that. Or you don't want uh, go down security is there, right? Go down security. For example, 
can find salesperson. You want this salesperson only can use very price or ERP. Okay. So <coughs> normally the price for salesperson is normally charged two hundred dollars. For multi-user and for similar is hundred dollars. Okay. So again, offer from the day until I get the from the volume will give at half the price. No need to do a picture for us for this one. Okay. Uh, but a special thing, we are just keeping a promo offer for uh, during the year. <coughs> okay, I think so. I think so. We are. It's more than enough for today. Questions now. Tesh, we have to show the answers. There. Yes. Yeah. No, it will show you the current, not the items. For this, uh, sorry, uh, backup uh, free offer. Uh, when you're taking the picture, your picture should be included in the tagging. Uh, our, uh, not only the poster, your picture. It should be a selfie sort of thing, or someone can ask you to take your hand. Okay, it should be a selfie mode. You are there promoting for us. Helping us to promote. Thank you very much. Backup is free. Just send the screenshot to Radhika. Take a selfie and you'll get a backup version free for us. Okay. Yes, please. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm so sorry. Yes. Okay. We have three for mobile solution. We have it. But... Uh, we need to discuss some questions and we will have to explain you. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, we have to. We do have to. Anything, anything you want to import, we can do for you. Yeah, we have tools available. Yes, you can just tell us what sort of we can make. Yes, please. Yes. 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 Before we, you know, see, normally API is an interface between your system and their system. There's an API, it's like a bridge software, we call it. They have to give that bridge software so for us to communicate with the data servers, respond back, then we can have that solution. Okay, please uh, leave us your feedback form also so we can be in touch with you. Uh, please, I uh, appreciate your feedback form. Um, if you know more questions, uh, Feel free, uh, take a selfie here to get your free backup also. Um, refreshments is safe on site. Uh, team, you can, I think so, we can, uh, don't have it. Thank you very much. We are closing the session for the day. Thank you very much.
Sami, so can I upload it out of What well, is it? Can we just save it for the time? What? Can we save it? Can we save it? 